When I look at the budget, what I'm seeing is a government that is essentially keeping the budget neutral as far as the economy is concerned. Yes, it sort of did a lot of things for small business, but whilst it had a lot of spending, it also had a lot of saves. They're not trying to slow the economy to get back to surplus. What they're really doing in a medium term sense is allowing the economy to come back and then about 80% of the recovery in the budget is bracket creep. Do you think these low level of interest rates are sustainable over the next 12, 18 months? I think basically they're on hold probably until the end of next year and then we expect to see them gradually starting to go back up. I don't expect them to go up to 5% or 55 like they used to. I think somewhere like 3.5% is probably about as high as you need to. We still have a view that says the US will recover and by the end of the year you will be increasing rates in the US, which means money will be going back to the US, which in layman's terms means that the Australian dollar goes down a little bit. The short term above the 80 cents is all about weakness in the US economy rather than strength in the Australian economy. And the US economy, where is it going? I'm still optimistic that America, it looks like it's coming back, but we've had a weak patch. Maybe it's a combination of a strong dollar plus the oil prices in the US. So we've lowered our growth forecast to something two, two and a half. The government and the IMF are still up at three. I think that's probably overly optimistic. So it is slowing. I'm still confident, but I'd like to see some strong data soon. And Europe, how do you see Europe? Well, the good news is that it's starting to improve a bit. The bad news is the level is important. So, you know, the best you're going to get is probably 1.5% growth. The Australian economy is going to grow OK. It's going to grow in real terms around 3% next year. The problem again is that two of that three is coming from exports and that doesn't generate much employment. But fundamentally our unemployment rates are pretty low. Our public sector debt numbers are very low and the rating agencies all came out and said Australia's AAA is fine and we've got interest rates. Property market, we're still reasonably optimistic. I think the market will slow. The number one that's most important is unemployment keeps edging up. I think steady as she goes is probably a good characterisation of where we are.